Hi everyone, uh, it's Nikolai back with you here at IFX Expo in Dubai. It's day two. I'm joined by Alexei Kutenko, who is uh, founder and CEO of Tools for Brokers. Alexei, welcome. Welcome, Nikolai. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for joining us, taking the time to speak with us. Um, uh, I guess uh, one of the uh, first questions I wanted to ask you is, uh, you know, our industry is progressing and changing in many ways. Uh, there's obviously huge demand uh, for retail trading amongst investors around the world. Uh, what do you think that these traders uh, are looking for specifically today? And how does Tools for Brokers help uh, the actual brokerages achieve results with, with their end clients? Okay. So, like, of course, traders nowadays are more skilled and more educated than it was like five years ago. So now they're looking for best uh, brokerages and they first of all look on the quality of the execution and execution speed because if you have uh, quality data feed, you're able to trade in a normal way because if there is some of lack of data or delays in the execution, you're not able to build your strategies in a good way. So second thing is uh, they are looking for brokerages who offer multi-asset trading because nowadays you couldn't go only with Forex. You have to add crypto, you have to add, add stock futures and all other derivatives and other kind of assets. So, and the third thing in my opinion that is transparency. So the clients now uh, worry about transparency a lot because they want to be sure that the brokerages they use do not do anything like wrong, they provided a good uh, data flow, market data and all of kind of these things to be sure that they could trust these brokerage companies. Mm -hmm. And in Tools for Brokers we are offering different kind of solution to help brokerages to make their business. First of all is of course trade processor. It's our bridge system which allows to connect to different liquidities, to manage risk management and to provide multi-asset trading because our trade processor is linked to different kind of liquidity providers who offer you a Forex trading, stocks, CFDs, crypto, and other instruments. So, also we're offering different solutions which allow them to attract more, tra to more traders. For example, we have a pump system which allow them to attract not only like traders by themselves, but people who want to invest in someone who more skilled in trading by themselves. Because not every single person able to trade because sometimes they, it's difficult to like to take with your emotions and it, it gives some issues with them. So they're interested in more in social trading, something like BAM. So also we provide different technology things like re re regulatory reporting tools which allow them to also show like best execution reports which show the broker, clients of the brokers about the transparency, how they execute and all these kind of things. And in total we provide like turnkey service for the brokerage and this allow them to make their business stronger. That's great. Uh, thank you for those uh, for those insights. Uh, you mentioned liquidity bridge, uh, that solution, and also trade processors in very high demand. Uh, what are the sort of the latest enhancements for those uh, for those um, services that you guys offer? Yeah, like last year we spent a lot of resources for the trade processor, and we uh, like connected a lot of new liquidities. We also added like a fixed weekend trading with Elmax, with which one or which is one of the like. Uh, biggest opportunities for the brokerages because with this technology they're able to offer to FX trading on weekends because and which will lead for high volumes which will lead for uh, more ways to attract the clients who wants to trade not only on uh, working days but weekend as well. Also we have added a synthetic instrument and trade processor which allow brokerages, brokerages to create specific instruments based on data feed they have already and provide very range uh, amount of instruments to the clients even related to very specific things, maybe uh, instruments nominated in local currencies which is not provided by uh, LPs, uh, something like that. So, so all of this brings additional opportunities and we're going to expand our features in the trade processor all this, this year, next year and we see a huge demand and we see like a huge uh, grow in this market so I think it's it, trade processor currently our main product and I think that it will be our main product for next few years for sure. Great. Um, uh, I think also you recently launched support for Spot and Futures Crypto uh, with I guess in partnership with uh, Binance? Like uh, we added the 
connection to the Binance for the spot and crypto futures in our trade processor. So currently, trade brokers able to offer all this kind of uh, cryptocurrency trading pairs from the Binance and the futures trading from the Binance and uh, expand their assets on their trading platform. So, yeah, it's it's really cool because. Um, with such integration, they're able to give more instruments to the traders and give more opportunities, especially uh, as well on weekends, because crypto trading is it's like 24-7, and brokers nowadays have to follow this trend, because if people don't able to trade on weekend, they will go somewhere else where they, yeah, they can. And, um, you know, arguably, uh, Binance is like the biggest uh, crypto exchange in the world, but we all know that they have been going through some, uh, let's say, regulatory difficulties. Um, I, I know that you have some, uh, basically, insights into, into, I think, crypto regulation around the world. Uh, what do you think we, we, we should look out for in the very near future, like, let's say, this year, next year, considering that crypto regulation is very fragmented, right, in different countries and things like that? Like, you know, the, like, crypto is really, like, early market, so, I mean, there is only a few years when it becomes so huge, like now, and of course, regulation should come, and what we see right now, of course, there's some lack of regulation in some regions, something in a gray area, and Binance also have a pressure of the regulation in some regions, they change the entities and etc. but what I think that, like, regulation is, the, is good for everyone, because when it's regulation, everyone understands the rules and could follow it, could follow the rules offering uh, and offer quality service to the clients. So I think that currently we are in a stage when the regulators and the big players like Binance, they're searching for some balance. they just trying to find a way how it should be regulated. So regulators uh, make some things, changes in the regulation, then the big players react on it and that's it. So I think it will be like a bouncing ball between them for like maybe next few years and then we will have a stable regulation in cryptocurrency area as well. Very, very interesting, thank you. Um, in your experience with prospective clients, do you uh, do you agree that the, the, some some brokers have a tendency sometimes to overlook like risk management tools and things like that when they come to you for, for advice and support? Yeah, of course, like risk management is one of the top questions of the brokers right now because they all think about risk and they, especially when they start to offer multi-asset trading, they have to be more like, skilled in risk management in different areas because you understand that risk management like in Forex and in crypto is totally different because when it comes to crypto, you have to be so, like, you have to be so careful with everything because one mistake could bring you huge losses. So, of course, they they were very interested in risk management system and like in our trade processor we provide this kind of tools which allow you to manage your risk, to switch between A book, B book, to see your portfolio, to understand how your traders trade and manage different kind of strategies which allow you as a brokerage company to achieve your risk uh, strategies and make it safe for you especially. Great. Well, Alexei, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. It's, it's a pleasure to see you. Uh, we haven't seen each other for uh, a couple of years. Uh, all the best uh, to you guys at the show and uh, moving forward in 2022. Thanks for joining us.